Barnsley head to the DW Stadium looking to crash the Wigan Athletic Champions Party as they chase a final playoff spot. The Latics will be crowned champions today unless they lose and Burton win as well as being able to get a 20-goal swing in the process. The Tykes meanwhile sit in sixth but are aware even a win won't guarantee them the final playoff spot as they are only ahead of Scunthorpe on goal difference. I think it could well be a free-flowing end-to-end game this one. Wigan will want to entertain and win their final home game of the season and Barnsley need a win. And it's Wigan who are coming forward here and there's an early goal, it's Will Grigg. I have to say it wasn't the best of defending but Grigg was there in the right place to pounce. 25th league goal of the season for the Northern Ireland International. Helped over the top. And running onto it is Grigg. He's able to keep it in play. There's options in the centre. He's been able to pick out one of them. Filed shoot. Coming onto his right foot, then his left, and then able to pull the ball back, but it's hit over the bar by McCann. Just lost his footing at the crucial time. What a season it's been for Wigan Athletic. They are able to bounce straight back up to the championship. And they look certain to be champions, although it isn't mathematically secure just yet. Hamill still going. Gets the shot away. And it's straight at Nichols. Hurahane. Hamill. And Wigan will look to break here. Valchi. Still going. Still going. Deflected shot as well, but it's deflected into the arms of Davies. Excellent run, though, by the centre forward. It's just a cacophony of noise in the DW Stadium. So much riding on this match. It's a clever little ball inside, and here's an opportunity played across the face of goal. Just needed a touch. It was good work by Fletcher. But couldn't find a teammate. And they'll no doubt be uh, listening to the results from Gillingham. As well as Scunthorpe. They're away at Sheffield United today. At the moment they need help to get the sixth and final playoff spot. But they could score here. But that's an excellent save by Nichols. Who spread himself well. As well as being out quickly, but Barnsley still have the opportunity here. That could well be a penalty, and is. Easy decision, really, for the referee. It was well won back on the edge of the area. And it was a clumsy challenge, in truth, from Warnock. So it's Winnell from the spot, 1-1. It's his 20th league goal of the season. First in five for the former Scunthorpe United player. And that goal could well deny his former club. They've got the bit between their teeth right now, have Barnsley. As they come forward again, Winnell. Again, the pass in field just couldn't pick out Fletcher. Grigg fighting hard. It's been a breathless first half. Intensity and the pace of the game has been electric. We've got one more final twist before half time. Fletcher wanting a free kick, not getting it. That's a heavy touch, though. 
And Isgrove is able to pounce into the area. Still going Isgrove. It's saved. Winnell on the follow-up. 2-1. What a turnaround for the Yorkshire club. The Tykes lead. And it's Sam Winnell again. Isgrove pounced on the error. Nichols couldn't sort his feet out. And Winnell puts Barnsley in front. It was a terrific first half of football. What will we get in a second? The Latics are unbeaten in their last 11 home league games and won't want that run to end on the final game of the season. On a day where they're 99% certain to lift the trophy. As they come forward, and that's a fine hit. And, well, there's handball appeals, nothing given by the referee. Then taken short. Nichols under a bit of pressure now. It's not the best of clearances. Barnsley looking to take advantage of it. To get to the byline, long hanging cross, and that's an acrobatic effort. But it's straight at Nichols. Hurahain to Hamill. So the midfield is sitting very deep. As far as he looks to come forward again, but that'll be a free kick, which is taken quickly. Hurahain. It's a beautifully sprayed pass over to the right hand side. It's a dangerous ball. It's not been held by Nichols. Fletcher will keep this alive. And will also pick out Hurahain, who's deflected shot somehow finds a way into the back of the net and Barnsley have an added cushion of a third goal and he felt they needed the three points today goal difference could be crucial too and they now lead 3-1 Hurahain's 10th league goal of the season it's a great ball in towards the far post just unable to get a touch. A dink over the top. He's onside, or is he? No, he's offside. Tidy finish by Colclough. I just wonder whether he needed to be offside. Plenty of space there for the substitute. Power. It's a lovely cross field ball. Trying to bend one into the bottom corner. Didn't quite get it right. Just lost his footing slightly, but he's still going. And he's won a free kick against Colclough. Effort. Oh, what a goal! Josh Brownhill. That is spectacular. Just his second league goal of the season for the 20 year old on loan from Preston. But what a hit! And it's 4 1. And the playoff party can begin. I think Barnsley are now believing that they are in the playoffs that sixth place is theirs unless something very dramatic happens either here or at Sheffield United Barnsley just trying to seek this result out party time here at the DW Stadium Wigan will be crowned champions. Barnsley will be in the playoffs. But not everyone is in celebratory mood. Just boiling over here. It was a, a rash challenge. There's just no need for it, was there, from McCann. A little bit of frustration from losing this final home game of the season. And in the final game of the season, McCann gets a straight red, so he'll miss the first three games of next season. 
it's a sad way to end what has been an excellent season for him and his club. There is the full-time whistle. It's Barnsley who do secure that sixth and final playoff berth. They've defeated Wigan Athletic 4-1 here, which betters Scunthorpe United's result at Sheffield United. But it's Wigan Athletic who are crowned champions of League One. So for the third time in their Football League history, Wigan Athletic win a league title. And this time it's League One. Second time they've won the English Tears third division. And after a fantastic season, they will be celebrating long into the night. Last one in 2002, 2003 season. But in 2016, it's theirs again.